Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today it's Thursday, November 26, 2020. It is Thanksgiving here in the United States. So uh, I would like to wish everybody a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It has been a very wet and rainy day here today at the homestead, which uh, that happens. Uh, what are you going to do? But uh, I hope that, uh, you know, if you don't get to the, a chance today to spend it with family, that you get to spend it with friends and people that you care about. Uh, I think that's important to be around people that you care about on, you know, a day of being thankful and being grateful. So I think that is an important thing. Uh, so yesterday, while I was out and about, where are you going, Ma? To get some mail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. But when I Do you know where they are? I want, yeah, I know exactly where they are. All right. See the place I got them before. Well, there you go. There, there, there you have it. You would have to understand the gist of the conversation that we had beforehand. So. Um, I, that's my mom in a nutshell. My mom wants, okay, so she, uh, I'll have to tell you really quickly what had happened here. So we were talking earlier. I had just been in there, and she's like, yeah, we're going to need some more nails because we want to hang up some curtains and stuff like that. And I said, well, I said, uh, I'm going to make my video. I said, and after I do the video, then I'll, I'll get you some nails. And so, of course, mom wants the nails now. She don't want to wait. She wants them instantaneously. So, uh... I just started making, obviously making this video, and then mom comes out, and I'm like, you know, you heard me, where are you going? And that's why I was laughing, because she has no patience whatsoever. Um, she wants things when she wants things. <laughs> that's it, so it's actually pretty funny. It's something we go round and round with. Uh, I always tell her she's like a dog with a bone. Once she gets something in her head, uh, she cannot let it go, but that's mom. So anyway, um, getting back to what I was saying, so it was quite amusing, actually. Well, so there you go. If you if you want it, there you go. You know where they are. Go ahead and go get them. You know. Um, anyway, that's pretty funny. I'm sorry, but uh, very overcast today. It's been raining off and on, and uh, so yesterday, uh, one of my neighbors I was talking with, and uh, he had a ton of old canning jars, and so he was uh, said to me, "Are you interested? Would you like them?" He goes, "Because if you don't take them, then they're all going to go in the garbage." Well, old canning jars, I like to use them for dry goods. I think that that's uh, a cool way to utilize them. And, uh, it's, you know, then they're protected in glass and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you uh, what I got. So, uh, here's an example. A lot of the old style uh, canning jars with the glass lids. So there's a box over here. I have a box in front. There is another whole box, if you can see those in there. And then Yeah, yeah, they've been back. Oh, I, I thought they left for the day. No, they went out to get some breakfast uh cuz the well, that was good. the restaurant was only going to be open until noon uh -huh. because obviously Thanksgiving with, yeah. with everything else being closed, uh, you know, that's... Well, that was a nice outing for them. Yeah, it get, gets them out and spend a little time together. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so then I got, um, in each one of these bags is six more of the jars. So, I still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, you know, there's 60 jars right there. Um, you know, obviously I'm going to take them, clean them up, and... Uh, but uh, I was pretty excited about that. I, I like uh, the old style jars. I think that they're very, very cool. Just kinda, you know, again, I like the old style jars. I think, like I said, I think they're neat. And uh, and then he had uh, some smaller ones. I think I have those. Yeah, those are up here. So I'll show you those. So I got the small ones as well. Uh, obviously, ball old style ball now I can if I wanted to do canning with these I could still do canning with these I would have to get the rubber rings the rubber rings you can get online uh, so but uh, a lot of the old canning jars like this you don't have the glass tops anymore they just don't have them so um, I thought this is a great thing to have and I definitely will use it uh, for storage of things 
you know, for beans and pasta, rice, whatever the case may be. And uh, I just thought that that was really neat. I, I liked it, so I was really happy to get those. Um, and like I said, I will utilize them. <laughs> so uh, another way to store things, and again, it would be secure, which would be nice. And so uh, pretty happy about that. But I will definitely order some of the rings. I'll see what they have online and see if I can't get the rubber rings for those. And uh, so it's the two different sizes, and I think that's kind of neat. But uh, anyway, so that was my adventures. That's what I've been doing. And uh, so I went and picked those up yesterday. Um, we did our Thanksgiving yesterday. So today I've already had another plate of uh, turkey, uh, mashed potatoes, and stuffing. Uh, another piece of pumpkin pie today. So I will literally, for like the next five days, eat nothing but leftovers. Uh, turkey sandwiches, whatever the case may be. I Like I said, when I tell you guys that it is absolutely my favorite holiday, Thanksgiving has always been my absolute favorite holiday. Uh, we had a nice little get-together here yesterday. And again, we celebrated it yesterday, so it was very enjoyable. And uh, so I, I definitely enjoyed that. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was a good way to spend the day and, like I said, very, very enjoyable. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, hopefully you can spend it with people that you actually can tolerate and like, which is always helpful. <laughs> you know, uh, spending it with people that you don't want to be around is not always fun. So, uh, and gentlemen, I will put this out here because this is kind of like one of my rules that I have. Uh, the ladies have done all the cooking and done all that all day long. Help with the cleanup, wash the dishes, pick up the table. Don't go sit in front of the TV first and make the ladies do all of that work. Um, that is, in my opinion, rude and not the way it should be done. Uh, I think that it is important to work together. Don't take those ladies for granted. They've worked very, very hard making that Thanksgiving dinner. So definitely be grateful and be appreciative of what they've done and help with the cleanup. So uh, I know probably yesterday I told Becky four or five times what a great job she did and how awesome the food was because my sister is a fantastic cook. And uh, so that's, that was nice. And again, for me personally, it's about family. Uh, I wish Eddie could have been here with us. That would have made it perfect. But, uh, you know, his choice, he's made his decisions on what he wants to do for now. In the future, who knows what's going to happen. But uh, very productive, uh, good day. Um, I think I, what I want, okay, what I want to do real quick here, we're going to go around the back here. Uh, Bill finished... If you guys saw him taking out uh, the video of the tree earlier, so what he finished up doing, and I'm going to walk back here, and of course not everything is a muddy mess, but uh, I'm going to walk back here and kind of show you. So he had to cut in a swale uh, back here is part of what he had to do. So like I said, we've had, it started raining last night, and for the most of the day, it has been raining. But uh, I'm just going to show you this here. And we'll take a look at this. Now, you got to see the soil, too. This soil is just absolutely phenomenal. So look how black and rich that soil is. Definitely going to have to take some of that. But anyway, so... He had to cut a swale in here, so when the water comes down the hill, it is going to divert. It's not going to continue down. It will divert this way and come this way, and eventually we will have the pond right over there. But uh, again, this soil back in this area is absolutely just black and rich. Uh, this would be perfect, perfect growing uh, material unbelievably rich but again you know you look at all the leaves down back here every year things compost down the leaves fall nobody's been doing anything back in here for years and years and years and that just makes the soil fantastic but uh so yeah so anyway that's uh how that goes in here but uh, again uh, i have a tremendous amount of area in here I can do a lot more things on the property down the road, um, and I will. <laughs> like I said, there will be a pond going in here. Uh, I could put another 
little building over here we could have the roadway coming through and coming through this way with no problem going up the hill and figuring things out you know that way um, once all this dirt is moved in we could actually because the the end of that is there we could have the road kick through right through there and uh, we can do more stuff up and through here so we'll see what we decide to do um, I think it'll be really cool like I said moving forward we'll just kind of go with the flow with it but I think it's going to be uh, you know, it'll be interesting. So a lot of this excess dirt here um, is going to end up going over the top of all of this. So, but uh, here's Miss Molly. Hello, baby girl. What are you doing? Yeah? You're a good girl? Yes, you are. You're a pretty girl. I know. Yes, you are. Um, I don't know if you heard her little bitty cry there. That was very cute. Anyway, guys. I am going to jump off of here. Um, I don't know how many people will see this today because I'm sure most people are with family. But I just wanted to wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving. Um, and I really do hope that you get to spend it with people that you care about. Uh, family doesn't always blood. Family sometimes can be people that are more like family. Uh, friends can be more like family. Uh, a lot of times in family itself. But uh, whoever you spend it with, I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, go Cowboys this afternoon. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow, and uh, we will get continue to rock and roll. But uh, things are coming together. When this is all completely cleaned up, it's going to look really nice. And uh, I will be adding more stone and everything through here when the time comes. But uh, So that's where we're at. Come on, Mama. So anyway, guys, remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Also remember STD, step, thing, and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. All right? I will see you all later. Uh, again, I hope you have a fantastic day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.